Disney in the last 24 hours have decided to release another fact about Peter Pan and Wendy, and that is the leader of the Lost Boys is going to be played by a actor with Down syndrome. Now, anybody else with a brain cell is just going to scroll past this and just roll their eyes because we're so used to Disney. <laughs> we're just so used to this company just rolling out diversity quota checkbox after diversity quota checkbox, and it's just boring now. This is the whole reason. There's nothing wrong. This is the reason the company is going down in fire and brimstone. This is the reason the company is not going to be making any money in the foreseeable future. Because this company wants agenda and ahead of entertainment, ahead of talent. But anybody with a brain knows what's coming. It's the internet. The jokes are going to be made and no one's going to moderate it because it shouldn't be that way. But of course, not everybody thinks this way. There's always the thought police. There's always going to be people with agendas. There's always going to be people acting virtuous and better than and holy than thou. And this brings us to a bit of drama by our favourite... <laughs> this brings us to a bit of drama by one of my favourite YouTubers, Angry Joe. I think his content is fantastic. I think his video game reviews are always on point. I have rarely in the last 10 years and maybe watching him I've seen anything that's really made me cringe but lately Joe's been getting into more spats on Twitter more spats with content creators he disagrees with over said political disagreement and that brings us to another one right here a youtuber named Pitmaster Broder a guy who makes jokes with you with a puppet thinks I've seen him on my YouTube feed every now and then thinks he's funny I think he's got he's got again good sense of humor a very clever way of critiquing things with a Yoda puppet. He does a great impression of Yoda. <laughs> Shout out to Pitmaster Broder. And uh, he decided to he decided to make a tweet, a joke. Leader of the Lost Boys, more like the Lost Chromosome Boys, am I right? And Angry Joe didn't take this very well in responding, are you making fun of this actor because of his Down syndrome? Joe, who are you trying to impress? Like, who are you? Who are you trying to showboat for? This is the internet. It's not your job to police other jokes because you find them offensive all of a sudden, out of character. It's cringe. Stop. He later says in the replies he doesn't find this type of comedy funny, and ironically, the guy he called out decided to criticize him in a video pointing this out and because of this because of the uh the light banter pimp master broder decided to throw at joe angry joe decided to reply in the comments with what it seems to be a very very bitter reply this message this youtube this youtube comment from angry joe comes across very bitter very sour very insecure Attacking his character, attacking the way he speaks, attacking his talent to articulate his thoughts, which a lot of people struggle with, and I sometimes struggle with. For someone who's acting all virtuous, attacking someone's ability to talk isn't a very smart move, Joe. Proceeding to call him an a idiot or a babbling idiot because he doesn't have a right to critique you without his Yoda voice. I don't know, seeing Angry Joe act like this is very disappointing, very cringe. It just feels like another OG falling to the woke mob mentality. It comes across like he doesn't want to get cancelled. There's a great comment here and a great reply to Angry Joe. Angry Joe, should I say. Saying, there was a time you made funny and insightful video game reviews. What the, hap what the hell happened to these, my guy? And it, he said it better than anybody else could. Stick to your lane, bro. Let's stick to your lane. Joe, you are incredible when it comes to reviews of video games. They are entertaining. They are sometimes a bit cringe, but that comes with the charm. It is not your job to go online and act like the thought police. Stop acting all holier than thou behind closed doors like you claim to be in these comments. Nobody is this perfectly non-offensive, always saying the right things, holier than thou individual they always claim to be off camera we're all human bro we are all human we all make mistakes we all say stupid things stop attacking content creators because you disagree with them it's okay to disagree with somebody joe take it from a fan stick to your lane 
you're absolutely brilliant at what you do and that is video game reviews just because you disagree with someone politically doesn't mean you should be attacking them online get a grip bro anyway like share and subscribe thank you for listening guys